Hello, I'm Jake from Dick Lovett Land Rover. Uh, just to show you around a few of our very lucky uh, sort of past and present vehicles that we've got to do with the Defender. Uh, we're at the Defender launch uh, here at Dick Lovett Melksham. Uh, just want to talk about a couple of vehicles first. We're going to start with this stunning uh, 1952 Series 1 Land Rover. Now this was first launched in 1948 at the Amsterdam Motor Show. It's an 80 inch wheelbase uh, with just 50 brake horsepower. The starting price was £450 something that I'm sure everyone would be willing to pay nowadays. We're very lucky to have two vehicles here with us today of the Series 1 model. Uh, so we started off with the uh, military style vehicle, which had been exported in the past. We then go to our lovely sort of standard model. This is how they would have come from the factory. Uh, obviously slightly different in terms of condition, but uh, an absolutely lovely example of what the Series 1 is all about. So these were very much the original vehicles, so the Series 1s. We then jump forwards 20 years, and come to something that looks much more as we know and love today uh, and is very reminiscent of what we expect to see of the Defender. So this is the Series 2, uh, released in 1974, this model. Um, I think it works really, really nicely. Very popular to have the green with the, uh, with the lighter roof and then the wheels as well. Released in 2015 and built in the stunning Grasmere green, uh, we have the Heritage Edition. Uh, so this is really sort of the life and soul of what Land Rover really stands for and what it's about. Um, I think this is an absolutely beautiful car. It's the Defender 110 um, and I think it's something that's sort of the evolution of Land Rover, how we started with the Series 1 through to the Series 2 and uh, finished with Defender and now we're here. We have the Heritage. We're also very fortunate today to have the uh, V8 Works Edition. So this is one of just 150 vehicles. Finished in Aintree Green, it looks absolutely stunning. Uh, so this one's got the V8 five litre engine built into it. So the same thing as you'd find in the, the F-Pace SVR, F-Type SVR, as well as the Range Rover Sport SVR. So, so plenty of power. You can imagine that in the Defender as well. Um, we do have disc brakes, so it's the first uh, Defender to have disc brakes built into it. And it's something that I think works really, really nicely. It's a very, very rare vehicle. And here we have it, the latest Defender 110. So this is the D200S. Uh, Finished in the Eiger Grey, works really, really nicely with the ebony interior. The new Defender is super configurable, so we've got plenty of different options to choose from in terms of interiors, but they still have the real quality behind the interior, so it's very hard wearing um, and a real good quality of material. So everything from leather, suede cloth, uh, just ebony interior, um, it works really, really nicely. We also have um, seven different colours ranging from Santorini Black, Pangea Green, a favourite of mine, uh, and Tasman Blue, also included. Uh, and we're able to offer a satin finish on the Defender for the first time. Uh, so going off road, going into water, it's going to be easy to wipe clean. I think it looks superb. Let us know what you think in the comments box below and which one you choose out of the various generations that we've got here today.